It was an all-night vigil. We uh, sat in a, a room waiting for the signal from NASA. So I was on a live telephone to uh, a control center in California, and a voice came on and uh, said, I'm sorry, there's no data for you. Sorry, we have no data for you, which was supposed to be the data that was said, you know, we've got here and uh, everything's okay. I had to encourage all the people in the room who were just as uh, wound up as me because so many people had put so much effort into this. I had to be the one that sort of said, don't worry guys, it's not the end of the world. We still look for it. We have a, a best guess, but there's no way of proving it. We still look for evidence of Beagle 2. I have one person, he compulsively looks at the pictures that NASA give us because if we did, we'd know how far we got and then we'd know how to do it better the next time. I would like to believe that we would recognize the importance of space exploration. I can't imagine there are many people that haven't stood outside on a starry night and looked at the millions and myriads of stars and thought, I wonder if I'm alone. And this is what we were trying to do with uh, seeing whether there was life on Mars. They said it wasn't managed properly, which was rather a code for saying Colin Billinger didn't run it. We had brilliant managers. Every part of that project was managed by guys who were expert in their field. It wasn't a failure. This is what uh, science is about. 90% of all the results you ever get out of doing a scientific experiment are things you didn't anticipate. And that's what annoys me most, not that we believe that we failed, we didn't. We know how we could have done it better and we weren't allowed to have another go.